Students in the Jordan District will start the school year remotely, and it's got nothing to do with masks or the spread of COVID. Bingham High School is undergoing a major renovation, and like many other projects, construction's behind. New Specialist Debbie Worthen took a tour today. Debbie, when will they be allowed to start in person? Well, Mike and Dini, the 2,600 students, the families of those students got the email today saying that they're two weeks behind and students will not be able to start in person until August 30th. That gives construction crews just under a month to finish the entire upper level of Bingham High School. It's 73,000 square feet that still requires a hard hat to enter. What? This has never, ever happened in the history of Jordan School District. We wish we had extra space. Other than a few dumpsters full of construction trash, all seems normal on the grounds outside Bingham High School. Inside? Right, it's a, an active uh, construction site. It's a completely different story. It's an investment in this school. Built in the 70s, Bingham High School was overdue for a facelift. There have been some challenges along the way. And work was supposed to be completed over the summer. Then? One of those challenges was supply chain disruptions. That's not all. We've had shortages of material. And? We've also run into problems with a pandemic labor shortage. Right now, you get a glimpse of how much better it will be with 33 skylights and lots of glass walls, which will give it a much more open feel. But this won't be ready by mid-August. Nobody really wants to be online, but you know, this is something we've done before. Carson Day is the student body president. He says this won't be like last year. Just because we can't be doing classes in person, there's still a lot of activities that are going on. Which everyone here hopes will make the first two weeks of the 2021-22 school year feel completely different than 2020. All the fun stuff in high school is still going on. The project is six years long. It costs about $38 million. They say when it's finished, they hope that the look of the school will match the legacy reputation that Bingham High has. But don't those delays sound very familiar to everything else we're hearing lately? Guys, back to you. Yeah, Debbie, it's interesting. Anyone who's built a home has heard that, hey, in two weeks, two weeks, it'll be uh, completed, it'll be finished. How confident are they in two weeks from the start time it should be finished? That's a question they would not directly answer. They said they are anticipating that it will be done. They did say it's an eight-week project. They've been promised that will be finished in four weeks. So we've seen this kind of action before, right? Yes, we have. All right. Debbie Worthen live tonight. Debbie, thank you.